With a career spanning more than 30 years, Craig McLaughlin joins us from the Rocky Horror Show. And I'll tell you what, Craig, I have to say, as a kid, I used to watch Neighbours and I used to watch you on TV and this heartthrob guy, and we all used to talk about you, and then you go on to this fabulous career of discovery into the theatre world. Did you ever think when you were all the way back then that you'd be doing stuff like this in your life? Can I be absolutely honest with of you? Of course know, you can. I know I can. Yeah. I grew up loving those stars of yesteryear, the, yeah. those golden, whether it was a Kerry Grant or whoever, yeah. you kids are going to have to Google that. That's Kerry right. Grant. I'm freaking out already. <laughs> but you know, uh, if you look at the golden era of Hollywood, yes. it wouldn't matter whether you were largely known as a, a dramatic leading man mm. at, at some point you'd find yourself in an MGM musical yeah. MGM kids Google MGM that. Um, so there was a there was a genuine versatility yeah you know those actresses who could deliver a great dramatic performance turn up a really really fun comedic performance yes and then rock up in a musical and mm. you know sing know. like an angel that was the stuff that really, really floated my boat. That, that got mm. me really excited as a kid. So mm. I had this, and, and bear in mind, mm. here we are, like this is like Oprah. <laughs> bear in mind where I grew up on the central coast of New South Wales, there certainly in the late 60s, early 70s, yes, that's how old I am, yeah. kids. Yeah. There were no drama schools. No, no. No, I was lucky enough to find um, a fabulous musician who, who uh, when he wasn't playing himself, mm. taught. He had a, a bunch of students. Mm. But other than that, that was it. So, not knowing any better, not knowing the politics of our business, sure. not knowing what was necessarily formally required, mm. I just held on to these mad dreams. Yeah. Now, when Neighbours came along, mm. and uh, I know Australia and the UK have been celebrating yes. the 30 year anniversary yeah. recently, yeah. I, dare I say it, and I know you'll appreciate this, yeah. but that became my classroom. Yes. So I didn't have any experience at any particular institution. Sure. Although some people have suggested I should be institutionalized. <laughs> That's another interview for another day. <laughs> but I, honestly, I just treated every day yeah. as... A learning experience. A great learning experience. Mm. All the while thinking, mm. If I can accumulate as much yeah. television knowledge as possible, yeah, yeah. Yeah. and I'm working with some great, I'm working with some terrific um, older, more experienced actors, mm. many of whom came from the theatre mm. background, mm. so learning from them, hopefully, mm. fingers crossed, I'll be able to take a step Out into that way. theatre. Now, sometimes, sometimes the paths that lead to where mm. we'd like to go mm. don't always necessarily go on a dead straight line. No, that's right. They tend to <laughs> weave a little bit, but yeah. eventually... You get there. You get there. Yeah. If, and I know you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. You will get there if, it, if, if you are genuinely passionate about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So when you look at, say, some of the people that you've worked with, like the Kylie Minogue's and the, the Jason Donovan's and all that, how do you define success as an actor? Because we look at... Kylie Minogue and, and everyone goes icon, um, but success for you, what, what does that mean? That's a really, really good question mm. and it's a good one at the moment because we are all sort of <laughs> yeah. a little bit delirious <laughs> yes. and a little bit astonished that 30 years yeah. has passed since, certainly for us three, yeah. we were kids. You were I mean, kids. I was, of the three of us, I was a couple of years older than Mm. Um, Jason Kindly. Um, but to answer your question, I know for me, I know for me personally, on the one hand, just surviving the peaks and valleys of this yes, thing called yes, show business. Yes. The lovely thing, you and I are sitting here talking 30 years down mm, the track. Yeah. That's got to be a success. That's right a success. There. Yeah. But also, again, for me personally, uh, and I'm, you know, Kylie and Jason have very different answers, I'm sure. But mm. 
to be at this point, and here we are in yeah. the Rocky Horror with this room, yeah. we're all having an absolute hoot. Yeah. Um, at the same time, um, I have uh, this wonderful television drama, The Doctor Blake mm. Mysteries, which many of our viewers mm. will know. Mm. At the moment, again, getting back to, I'm sounding like a motivational speaker, but it's working. But never giving up. Yeah. Um, you know, Doctor Blake, for example. You, yes. You, you, you talk to actors, and they talk about. Oh, the role they've been waiting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what? This one really is, and it's a joy for me. Yeah. And now I've moved into um, either courageously or stupidly, I've moved into uh, associate producer role on the show as well. Just again mm. to learn, 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 mm, learn. Mm, mm. So at this point in my career, in late forties, a rap tap 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 on the door of fifty, <laughs> yeah. to be sitting here chatting to you yeah. about these wonderful things, yeah. that's kind of it. Success, is it about money? Mm. Is it about having uh, a new Mercedes? Mm. Is it about whatever? It might be for some people. Yeah. And God bless them, mm. but not for me. No, no. C can I ask you, like, in your career, uh, and we all have this, this problem in our, in our careers, various careers that we work in, Sometimes the lows far outweigh the highs, don't they? I think, absolutely. Yeah. I think. And how do you get through that? Again, mm. um, I mean, firstly, you're absolutely right. Mm. The peaks and valleys of any career, yeah. but certainly in this, our business, this, yeah. show business, yeah. radio, mm. film and television theatre. Yeah. Um, music, the arts. Mm. Um, for me, I tend to I tend to run on a couple of extra cylinders anyway. Mm. So, thankfully, by nature, I tend to be yeah. <laughs> more up, up than down. Yeah. Um, which is not to say, listen, I've been in I've been in more stinkers that have gone straight yeah. to video than I care to remember. For sure. Um, but ultimately, ultimately, to wake up every morning um, believing that, yeah. that that project that doesn't go straight to video might just be around the corner. Sure. Um, and also, also, getting back to our favourite Hollywood stars yes. of yesteryear yeah. and being versatile. Mm. Now, on the one hand, you let me know if I'm waffling too. No, that's all right. We'll just cut it up. On the one hand, um, sometimes, and it's really the case here in Australia more so than anywhere else in the world. But if you are a television actor, mm. and you might have a popular radio mm. spot, mm. and you might do something else, it seems almost too much for some people. Yes, okay, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, is he a radio guy or is he, is he a theatre? We can't be. <laughs> On the quiet. Yeah. For me, um, post pop star days, yeah. I diversified. So, for for example, um, composing music for film and television, I don't really publicise the fact. Mm. Often journalists go, "Oh, the kids are watching a movie the other day, and the composer has the same spelling surname as you." Oh, is that right? Oh, there you go. Oh, isn't that a coincidence? <laughs> but also, just to have creative. Outlets yes. that you can pour yourself into that's not that movie that mm. goes straight to video, I think it's really important. Well, well, to watch you to this morning do your, your routine, it, it, audiences can expect a lot out of you. I, I'm intrigued, final question for you. How do you get into that character and, and where do you go when you're doing it? Do you, <laughs> yeah, where do you go to? Is it acting or is it just part of you. <laughs> there you go, folks. Craig McLaughlin. I think that answers the question. You do, that that answered the question. <laughs> you are hysterical. We've been talking Rocky Horror today here in the uh, wonderful ABC studios. Of course, you can see this fabulous stage musical at the Lyric Theatre. Thank you, Craig, for your time. My absolute pleasure. <laughs>